Simpson in red, Lee Adams blue, Ray Morton in white and Steve Schofield in yellow and black. So Scoey, like his Hackney colleague Andy Galvin, has to start off gate four on his first ride. So what can Scoey do from there? Well, he's made a flying start into the first turn, Steve Schofield. And he leads down the back straight. Ray Morton coming into second place now, ahead of Nathan Simpson and Lee Adams at the back. So the man who is currently top of the National League averages, Steve Schofield, leads heat four. Morton in second, ahead of his Wimbledon teammate Nathan Simpson, and Lee Adams stranded at the back. Adams though, right on Simpson's back wheel, and here comes Adams into the third turn, challenging Nathan Simpson now. So can Adams find a way through on the outside? He's tussling there, an exciting duel between these two, and Adams as he forced a way through. Simpson still challenging on the inside, but Adams is through. So the young pirate coming into third place now, Simpson tries to challenge back. Scoey leads, Morton second, but it's all going on behind them. One lap to go, and Lee Adams finally seems to be shaken off Nathan Simpson now. And now he sets off after Ray Morton. So into the third and fourth turn for the last time. The heat winner is Steve Schofield, Ray Morton second, Lee Adams third. Just holding off Nathan Simpson in the end. So great start there for Steve Schofield. And earlier on, we had a few words with Scoey. In laps, if you get that far, how does that take you? A lot of races. Um, yeah, it's going to be very difficult. I usually lose concentration on after about six or eight laps when I've done these long races before. It, it sounds funny, but you, you just seem to keep going. You never ever see the last lap flag come out, and you're really hoping. And you, you know, so it's being quite fit as well helps in, uh, in them big races. Because you must be pretty fit, not only speedway, but also your grass track racing, what have you? Yeah, I, I think the grass keeps you more fit than the actual speedway itself does, really. I mean, it's, the grass is quite rough, but then a, a good grass tracker can't really accomplish, can't get going real good on the speedway. And then some just certain spur riders can't really get going. You know, obviously, there's, there's, there's the exceptions, but some blokes who are really concentrated on speedway can't really seem to get going good on the, on the grass. So when it comes to the 16-lap final, Hopefully you'll be on the back row, and by that time perhaps the track is a little bit on the slick side. What do you make of that? Um, I don't really know about the formula and everything here, being on the back row or whatever, but... The top so, four go on the back <coughs> row. I see, so yeah, ah, uh, yeah, I'd like to be on the back row if I can. Track a bit slick, so it'll be a little bit difficult to come through. I don't think it's going to be knock, knock yourself out and, and, and really go as flat out as you can for the first half of the race, and then last eight laps or so, you're sort of tiring. I don't think that's a good idea, maybe pace yourself, but... I think it'd be better if you're racing someone, if you're level with someone and you're racing somebody, I think that would be better than if you're out on your own or in the middle on your own because you just lose all sort of concentration and everything. If you're racing somebody, don't think about it. 500 quid the winner. Yeah, that'd be very nice. Very Thanks, nice. Steve. Thanks, okay, Thank much. you. Anytime.